What's up, guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for NFL Week 12, Monday Night Football. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. Okay, guys, in this video, I'm going to give you my top DFS picks for this Monday Night Football Showdown between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Indianapolis Colts. And if you stick around to the very end of this video, we'll use the draft dashboard tools to make a DFS lineup using the picks we just made. Okay guys, NFL week 12. Let's take a look at this Monday night football showdown between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Indianapolis Colts. So at the quarterback position, I could play either one of these quarterbacks here tonight. Take a look at Kenny Pickett from the Pittsburgh Steelers playing the Indianapolis Colts who have a good defense overall. They're middle of the pack defending opposing quarterbacks. Kenny Pickett has averaged 13.9 fantasy points per game on the season, getting an average of 4.1 rush attempts per game. So he's got more rushing upside and he's going to be about 51% owned, projected at 15.2 fantasy points here tonight. He's 9,800 DraftKings salary. Vegas thinks there's going to be 39.5 points scored in this game, with the Steelers trailing by two and a half. So Kenny Pickett has scored 16, 19, and nine fantasy points in the last three games. He got two, eight, and seven rush attempts in those games. So I like his rushing upside, although he doesn't have as good of a matchup as Matt Ryan does. I like Kenny Pickett here versus the Indianapolis Colts. So I also like Matt Ryan from the Indianapolis Colts playing the Pittsburgh Steelers, who have the second worst defense overall. They give up the fourth most fantasy points to opposing quarterbacks. Matt Ryan has averaged 16.2 fantasy points per game on the season, getting an average of 1.9 rush attempts per game. Going to be about 54% owned. Also projected at 15.2 fantasy points here tonight. He's 9,600 DraftKings salary. And Matt Ryan has scored 9 and 23 fantasy points in the last two games. He got one and four rush attempts in those games. So he's got a better matchup. Although I do think Kenny Pickett might have a little bit more upside with those uh, with that rushing ability or those rush attempts that he gets. Uh, but Matt Ryan definitely has the better matchup here. Both about the same salary, gonna be about the same percent owned. So I think it's a coin flip between these two guys. So I also like Matt Ryan here versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. Okay, let's take a look at the running back position. So the stud on the slate, Jonathan Taylor from the Indianapolis Colts playing the Pittsburgh Steelers, who have the second worst defense overall. They're middle of the pack defending opposing running backs. Jonathan Taylor has averaged 15.1 fantasy points per game on the season getting an average of 18.9 rush attempts per game and 3.9 pass targets per game. He's going to be about 62% owned, projected at 17.3 fantasy points here tonight. He's 11,400 DraftKings salary, and Jonathan Taylor has scored 17 and 27 fantasy points in the last two games off of 22 and 22 rush attempts on top of four and two pass targets. So lots of volume, been productive the past couple of weeks since he came back from injury. Pretty good matchup here. I think he's got the highest ceiling on the slate. So I like Jonathan Taylor here versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. Before I continue with the picks, I'm excited today because we added a new contest for everyone watching. If you want to enter the drawing for $25 PayPal, all you need to do is like this video, hit that subscribe button, and make a quick comment below to be entered into the drawing. 
will reply to a random comment and let you know that you won. And we'll send you $25 PayPal. So it's that easy, and we pick a new winner every Saturday and announce them in our video. So get your comment in now so I can add another entry for you. I also like Najee Harris from the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Indianapolis Colts have a good defense overall. They're middle of the pack defending opposing running backs. Najee Harris has averaged 12.6 fantasy points per game on the season getting an average of 14.8 rush attempts per game and 3.5 pass targets per game. Gonna be about 56% owned, projected at 14 fantasy points here tonight. He's 9,400 DraftKings salary, and Najee Harris has scored 28, 10, and 12 fantasy points in the last three games, off of 20, 20, and eight rush attempts on top of six, one and six pass targets so his volume up quite a bit the past two games i think he makes a fine play here tonight so i like naji harris here versus the indianapolis colts okay let's take a look at the wide receiver position so stud on the slate here is michael pittman jr from the indianapolis colts and the pittsburgh steelers have the second worst defense overall give up the absolute most fantasy points to opposing wide receivers. Michael Pittman Jr. has averaged 14.6 fantasy points per game on the season, getting an average of 9.2 pass targets per game. He's been on the field for 90% of the snaps, gonna be about 50% owned, projected at 14.5 fantasy points here tonight. He's 10,200 DraftKings salary, and Michael Pittman Jr. has scored 14, 12, and 5 fantasy points in the last three games, up of 7, 9, and 6 pass targets. So I like Michael Pittman Jr. here versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. I also like Paris Campbell from the Indianapolis Colts. The Pittsburgh Steelers, we know, have the second worst defense overall, giving up the absolute most fantasy points to opposing wide receivers. So this could be a spot where you want to go with Matt Ryan and a couple of these Indianapolis Colts wide receivers. So Paris Campbell has averaged 9.9 .9 fantasy points per game on the season, getting an average of 5.5 pass targets per game. He's been on the field for 84% of the snaps, gonna be about 28% owned, projected at 11.2 fantasy points here tonight. He's 6,800 DraftKings salary, and Paris Campbell has scored 12, 21, and four fantasy points in the last three games off of six, nine, and five pass targets. So I like Paris Campbell here versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. Real quick guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30 day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all the tools for NFL. NBA is right around the corner. This is a great time to get in and try everything for one month. The tools are all about saving research time. You can see the last three games, the fantasy points per game, the targets they got per game, so you can see how involved they are in the offense, the rushes they got per game. Seeing all this stuff on one screen helps you save time and make better picks. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. Now, I also like Deontay Johnson from the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now, the Indianapolis Colts have a good defense overall, and they've been really good defending opposing wide receivers. Deontay Johnson has averaged 10.1 fantasy points per game on the season, getting an average of 8.6 pass targets per game. He's been on the field for 92% of the snaps, gonna be about 41% owned, projected at 10.6 fantasy points here tonight. He's 7,600 DraftKings salary. Deontay Johnson has scored six, 10, and nine fantasy points in the last three games, off of five, five, and nine pass targets. So I like Deontay Johnson here versus the Indianapolis Colts. 
I also like George Pickens from the Pittsburgh Steelers. George Pickens has averaged 10.2 fantasy points per game on the season, getting an average of 5.3 pass targets per game. He's going to be about 32% owned, projected at 10.6 fantasy points here tonight. He's 7,400 DraftKings salary. And George Pickens has scored 18 and 15 fantasy points in the last two games off of six and four pass targets. So I like George Pickens here versus the Indianapolis Colts. Now, if you want to save some salary at the wide receiver position, take a look at Alec Pierce from the Indianapolis Colts. He's averaging 7.6 fantasy points per game on the season, getting an average of five pass targets per game. It's going to be about 28% owned, projected at 8.6 fantasy points here tonight. He's only 5,200 DraftKings salary, and Alec Pierce has scored six, zero, and three fantasy points in the last three games, off of eight, two, and two pass targets. So I like that he got targeted eight times last game. Although he only put up six fantasy points, I like the volume for the price tag and the matchup. So I like Alec Pierce here versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. Okay, moving on to the tight end position. I like Pat Firmuth from the Pittsburgh Steelers. The Indianapolis Colts have a good defense overall. They give up the 11th most fantasy points to opposing tight ends. Pat Firmuth has averaged 10.9 fantasy points per game on the season, getting an average of 7.4 pass targets per game. He's been on the field for 70% of the snaps, going to be about 40% owned, projected at 11.4 fantasy points here tonight. He's 6,400 DraftKings salary, and Pat Firmuth has scored 16, 8, and 10 fantasy points in the last three games, off of 12, 7, and 7 pass targets. So lots of volume. He's been pretty consistently productive over the past three weeks. Decent matchup here. So I like Pat Firmuth here versus the Indianapolis Colts. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smiggity smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this NFL slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.